Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up water in Unreal Engine version 4.26. First, you're going to want to make sure you're using Unreal Engine version 4.260. You can add it here, clicking Engine Versions and select it, as this will only work in the latest version of Unreal Engine. So I'm in the third person template, and the first thing you want to do to your project is go to Settings, Plugins, and then look for Water then click enabled this will make you restart the editor and once it's loaded the water system will be available in Unreal Engine so if we go to the place actors panel on the left and look for water we can just drag in water body custom and I'm just going to scale this and this will just create a quick water effect for our game so I click play we can see we've just created some simple water but there are more water features which can be integrated with the landscapes so I'm going to show that bit next so we're going to set up some more advanced water systems so if you go file new level and just select a uh, default level i'm just going to delete delete this i'm going to create a landscape which integrates the new water system so i'm going to go modes landscape and it's important we need to click this enable edit layers one and this will allow so the water can edit the layers of the landscape and we'll just click create and now we have a landscape. So I'm just going to go back to my mode, go back to select mode. I'm going to drag in some water. So I'm going to look for water in the place actors. And there's three different types of water we can integrate with this landscape. So the first one is water body lake. And this will just create a cool lake for us in our game. And if we just move it up, we can see it's now integrated with the landscape. So you can move it up or down and it will conform with our landscape. So I'm just going to undo all of that. So if we just click on any point on the water and right click and add a spline point here, we can add or remove spline points to adjust the water shape to be a shape that we want it to be. So in the right there are a bunch of different uh, water settings. I've not explored with all of them, but you can use this to edit how the water how the water behaves. So I'm just looking for one. So under curve settings, um, we can change the depth of the water. So that would be like how deep it is. So I'm going to make it a thousand and we can just test this out so i click play we can see the water is really deep and there are a bunch of these settings so we can also adjust the ramp width so if i make this like one it'll be really steep when we go to the water and that looks kind of off but if i just make it back to a value like 500 you can see it's a bit more smooth before we go to the deepness of the water so i'm gonna put it back as a default value of 2000 and that's basically a lake so Next, I'm going to show you the river. And again, we can edit a bunch of different settings inside here. So, for example, if I click on this spline point, another bunch of settings we can edit is if you click this water bit. And here we can adjust the velocity of the water, the weather width, or the weather depth. So I'm going to make it like 500. And But this time, it'll just adjust it along this specific spline point. So we can adjust the settings at each spline point. So there, the velocity will be much higher. So if I go up to this water, at the start, it's quite slow. But if I go to the point where I adjusted, it, you can see it moves really fast. And if I head back to a point which we didn't edit, it's just its default value and it's quite slow. So that's a cool feature. Like this has so many settings. So I'm just going to delete this and then I will show you the last bit of water we can play around with. So the water body ocean. So I'm just going to drag this in and this will just create a whole ocean around our whole landscape. And again, we can just select the spline points and edit them if you want to adjust to like the shape of the island that the ocean surrounds. So if we scroll down, we can adjust the gap between the ocean and the land. So if I make this value like zero, there's no gap. I will change it back though. That is all for now. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.